In this lesson, we're going to be introducing a new type of generic type constraint, which is the key of constraint. First, let me show you what the key of operator is and how you can use it in your programs. Let's start here with a custom object type course, which contains these three properties. Using key of, I can create a type which corresponds to these three specific strings. So the strings that can be used as keys of the course object. Let me show it. I'm going to define here a new custom type that I'm going to call course keys. So this is supposed to contain all the keys that are valid for a course object. In order to create this type, I could do the following. I could add here one of the keys, which is title. So this is a literal type. And then using a union type, I could add here the second key subtitle. And finally, I could add here the last possible key for a course object lessons count. And with this, we have defined here a union type that contains all the valid keys for a course. Now, instead of doing this, I can replace this implementation by using the key of operator and by passing in the course type. And I have effectively generated the same equivalent type. So if I over over here the course keys, we are going to see that the type that has been inferred is the title or subtitle or lessons count union type that we have written manually just a moment ago. This is automatically being created by the key of operator. So we now know how key of works, but the question is, when is this useful and how does it relate to generics? To understand this, I'm going to give you here an example of a generic function that will benefit from the key of operator. This is going to be a new function that we're going to be calling extract property. This is a very simple function that takes a couple of inputs so the function will extract a data property from an object. So the first argument that it will take is the data, which is the object from which we want to extract a property from. And the second argument is going to be the property name. So this is supposed to be a string containing, for example, the string subtitle, title, etc. And let's quickly implement this. Right now, this is not yet a generic function. We will turn it into a generic function in a moment. Right now, we just want to implement here an initial version of the function, even though it won't be type safe. So we're going to access here the data object and we're going to retrieve here the property. So now we have here an initial non type safe version of this function. Let's try it out and show that it's indeed not type safe. So we are going to add here a new call to the function. We're going to call extract property. We're going to pass it here, the course object, and we're going to extract here the title property. And if we would run this program, it would work. But the problem is that it's not type safe. So the value returned here is any, but not only that, this call here to extract property would work if we would pass in here also a boolean or a string and anything else other than an object. As you can see, we don't get here any useful compiler error message preventing us from misusing this extract property function. As you can imagine, passing it with a string or with a boolean, that is going to cause here a runtime error in the JavaScript runtime environment. Also, besides that, even if we pass in here a custom object type, we have no guarantee that there will be a property with the same name. So for example, if I misspell here the name of the property, for example, if I use here capital T, this is going to return undefined. So I have just called extract property with an object for which we are sure that we will never find a property with this name. So how can we avoid this? Well, we are going to turn extract property into a generic function and we're going to use key of as a constraint for one of the types. This is going to make our function type safe and you are going to be able to catch this error at compile time. So the first thing that we need to do is to add here a generic type to our function. This is type T, which is going to be the type of the object that we are passing as the first argument. Now let's specify here a more specific type here to the property argument. We could be tempted to define this as a string because as we know, all property names are strings, but this would still not be very useful. We could also use instead course keys and use this more specific union type. So let's try that. 
if we use here the course keys type, we now get here a useful compiler error message. But the problem is we want to extract properties from any object, not just from course objects. So how can we improve this? What we can do here is to define a new type here for our generic function type k. And let's go ahead and let's define it here. So our type k extends the type key of t. So we have taken the input object, we have created the key of type, which is something like this in the case of the course object, it's going to be this union type with the properties title, subtitle or lessons count. And this type K, which is the type of the key, is being used as the property type. And with this, we have created a generic but still type safe version of extract property. As you can see, we now get here a useful compiler error message saying that title with a capital T is not a key of the course object. And notice the following, as soon as we fix this, the compiler error is going to be fixed. But more than that, via the powerful type inference mechanism of TypeScript, now we know here that this value has to be a string, because the title property happens to be a string. If I pass in here lessons count instead, now via type inference we know that the value is going to be a number. As you can see we now have here a fully type safe version of extract property. And notice that as usual we did not have to pass in here the concrete generic type parameters to the function. So we did not have to pass in here course and course keys to configure our extract property function. Everything is happening here via type inference. The course type is being inferred here via the data argument and the key type is going to be inferred based on the T type automatically. So everything happens via type inference, everything is extremely concise but still it's fully type safe. As you can see the key of operator can be extremely useful in certain cases to create generic functions. Let's now continue to explore generics and talk about generic classes.